Hi everyone, welcome to another <laughs> mini kit Monday video. Going to do like a kill a kit share. I really didn't intend to kill this kit only because I didn't know how much of everything I was going to use. I did do a couple of layouts and then I decided that I was going to take out all the doubles since this was a whole brand new pack, maybe with the exception of one layout. I think I have done, I had done a one layout with this paper pad already, but I did take out all the doubles that I had, including the cut apart sheets. And so I think I have 23 sheets in here. So that left me with 25 sheets left over. And I have quite a few scraps. I was starting to put them in here. And then when I pulled the doubles, I started using other sheets as well. So these are my bigger pieces. And then these are like the tops of the paper pad that holds the, that attaches the sheet to the paper pad. And then these are my scraps. So these scraps are gonna go into the recycle bin. All of these were die cut pieces. I will probably get rid of like certain ones of these. This was from the January kit. I'm probably gonna keep that to make a bow. I did make one already with the other half of that and it ended up looking really cute. So I'm gonna make some more. That's what I end up using these strips for. This is going to the recycle bin really. And then these my leftovers from the cut apart sheet. So I'm gonna take these out of here. That one I used in February too it looks like. That's what it, according to this, that's what it says. So I don't remember because that wasn't from, oh, it might've been from the birthday card because I also made a birthday card for my son. I did a 100 days project, a birthday card, and then five layouts, I believe. So I'm gonna keep this piece. I can die cut or punch out another heart. So those were most of my scraps. I only had really small pieces of scraps. Everything else is here. So these are all my scraps and I'll keep these in, in the same bag and I'll put this with my Jen Hadfield stuff of this collection. And these are all the papers that I cut into. So with a total of five layouts, I think I did pretty good. And then I did punch some of these out to use. I used two cards here. I used one little square here. And then I used two three by fours here. And then the rest of these are the single sheets that I pulled out from the paper pad. Here's another cut apart, so we won't count that one. Four of the, oh. Yeah, four of the 12 by 12. Anyway, so that's what was left over from my kit as far as paper goes. I will put this, I'll put the scraps in this bag, but I'll put the full 12 by 12 sheets in with the paper pad. So that's what's gonna happen to that. And then I did, I did end up using this letter stickers. I didn't use any of these or these craft ones, these black ones, these purple ones. I did use this letter sticker sheet set. I did use this one as well. So three out of six seven isn't bad and then I know I used a couple of these floral ones but that's it so not too many from here I did put a big dent in this chipboard sheet set I used about 14 pieces of the chipboard sheet so that's a win and then I used one strip and a half at first I thought I was going to use the whole second strip of it but but I did use it I did use a title from here and some hearts and then I used two of these dimensional stickers. I didn't use any of the frames. I used several of the pieces here. I know I used some of the wood veneer. Here they are marked two, four, I used six of them, so not bad. I didn't get to use my stamps and I didn't get to use any of these wood veneers. I used some of this twine, some of this twine, and I was able to use and these Nouveau Drops, the gold lame, and I think I'm gonna use some of this blush color shine on one of the layouts. I'll show you which one in a minute. I used some of these sequins and some of the clear sequins and the star sequins from here. And I also used some of the ephemera from this side and this side as well. I only used six of the stickers, so uh, I still used them, which is still, I consider that a win still, so shouldn't be so hard on myself. So that's it. And then I did make five layouts in total. I have videos for all of them. So my favorite part about this layout is that I did use some markers to kind of color up the wood veneer, and then I did use paint to color this one. One. I No, I used the Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide Ink, and I used three different alphas here, some of my clear stickers from my sticker book, and some of these uh, cardstock stickers as well. Here's some chipboard that I also colored, and I put on top of this wood veneer. And it looks like there's three different colored pattern papers on here. Four, with this gold and white one right here. 
This one is titled Me and You. I used an embossing folder, which is a win. Here are some of those Simple Stories chipboards. And I did use several pattern papers. I used five different pattern papers on this. And I used some of the cut apart sheets, some stickers, some chipboard, ephemera. And this was from the gold foil thickers that I had. Some Distress Oxide ink, the enamel dots as well. And I did some stitching down this side and this side. And I used inspiration from the sketches that I provided for the Mini Kit Monday Facebook challenge group and they're all on our Facebook group if you'd like to see them. And so I use the same thickers here, some chipboard, a couple different pattern papers as well as some of the cut aparts and some chipboard as well. And this one is titled Hello Sweetie Pie. And I even use some of my tags and photo corners for this one. And here's where I put several of the sequin pieces. There is some of the dimensional stars and some of the glitter stars and some of the sphere baubles that are in there. They're really fun. And here's another one. I did a layout share for this one. This one, three patterned papers. Four if you include the punch outs that I made for them. I colored the weird, the weird veneer the wood veneer <laughs> in with some paint and then I even use the Nouveau drops to cover these this these wood veneer dots or circles they're kind of odd shaped I used some chipboard some cut apart sheets more chipboard some of those wood veneer buttons that it had and some dimensional stickers and some photo corners and then there's another pattern paper five different pattern papers on that as well and then this is the latest one I did I did this one today in fact and here's where I changed it up in the video it shows that I used the strip all the way down I cut them down because I felt like this tied this here together this wasn't part of the sketch and I tell you which sketch I used inspiration from on this one I titled it Easter memories this is some chipboard chipboard here ephemera pieces and then this is from the cut apart sheet and so is this this is ephemera this is from the smaller cut apart sheet with the two by two square sheet and then I used a different pattern paper and a washi tape from that Pebbles sticker book and that's where this purple piece is from as well and so that's the end of my mini kit Monday monthly layout share for February 2020 don't forget to join us again for March Shannon will be doing the inspiration for this coming month and it looks like a good one I have to get started on putting my kit together let me know which one of the layouts you enjoyed the most or which one you liked best or which sketch you are planning on using answer any of those questions down below thank you so much for coming to my channel like this video comment subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one have a great day wherever you are bye